So you work, you're working on the seventh season of Blackish. Yeah. How does it feel to grow up on the show, but also be growing up in real life and everyone watching your grow and mature? Um, I guess it's a crazy thing. I mean, I guess my answer will always change the, the older I get, because I guess, I guess the more I know, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of weird because when you're yourself, you never really see yourself growing because you're yourself the entire time. Um, so I've always looked back at older episodes and seen the difference between that person and the person I am right now. And uh, uh, I can say, oh, yeah, I did grow up, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> um, so it's like it's a kind of a crazy thing. I mean, I don't really even think about the people that are watching when I'm filming. I'm really just thinking about, hey, I'm hanging out with Anthony, Tracy, Yara, Kayla or Marseille. And, and it's just um, it's a crazy thing. I mean, it's something I don't think I'll realize until I get older and I'll be able to look back on that and be like, I really grew up in front of the entire U.S. And it's like it's something crazy that um, I can't really think about it until I get older, you know? Right. Well, I mean, you are already getting older and becoming your own person and like starting a new path. I know you're working on music right now. Yes. Um, so I just found out that like the first time you got on stage and performed with an artist, you were four years old and it was Big Daddy Kane. That's yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, that's crazy. But... <laughs> that's an incredible okay. place to start. So who would you love to be on stage performing with now? Um... I don't even know how you knew that in the first place. <laughs> I had my way. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was like four years old and uh, Big Daddy Kane was performing and I was a huge fan. And I was like, I kind of, actually my dad knew about Big Daddy Kane at the time because my dad is, a, is an artist. And um, I kind of met him, or I met him backstage during his set and I like freestyled for him or I said one of my raps and he was like, yo, that's fire. And then he brought me on stage I don't even remember where this was or what was going on. And then he brought me up stage and I just did that same thing I was doing for him on stage. And uh, um, I was dancing and all that stuff. So it was like, it was a crazy experience. Um, but to answer your question, I would say the, oh, the one person. I would say, I mean, I love obviously people like Drake, Travis Scott, Kendrick. Um, so, I mean, for me to even be on stage with them, I guess watching what they do in front of the crowd would be awesome. Uh, but definitely, I would say the person who has the craziest, I guess, crowd influence has probably Travis Scott, you know, so it's like, if I could see how he operates on stage, I would have to, I would have to go with him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, clearly, you've always been an entertainer. You've, um, you are a dancer. We obviously know you as an actor in Blackish, but you are diving into your hip hop career now. So what made you want to get into that? Um, it really started with my dad, like I was just saying, he's an artist. And uh, I guess working him, uh, seeing him work, I guess really inspired me to like, oh, music sounds fun too. So um, I think I didn't really know which exact way to do it or how I wanted to do music until I was on Blackish because I think Blackish, I guess, inspired me to, I guess, take my own lane and want to talk about certain things that aren't being talked about. Because I could easily just, I guess, talk about the things that everyone else talks about in their music, you know, and, um, and just do it like that. But I think Blackish kind of gave me that inspiration to, um, speak about, I guess, what's going on with Gen Z, mental health, police brutality, all the things that are going on right now um, that no one else is really bringing up when it comes to Gen Z and the next generation. And um, yeah, that was really what, I guess, inspired me to start taking up music. And I think ever since then, um, I've just been taking it from there. So yeah. Right. You have such a big platform and Blackish is super successful and always tackling these tough or, you know, controversial issues. So right. do you ever feel sometimes pressure though to be this role model since you're always speaking on these really huge issues um I don't really see any pressure because the reason I would say that is because we started off like that like I think our fifth or sixth episode was the hope episode and that was I think one of our most controversial episodes we've ever done and that was that was in the first season so it's like or yeah that was in the first season so it's like people have always really known Blackish as a show that I guess really tackles controversial stuff uh, but I mean, if it's a really big topic that just happened, like, let's just say, um, I guess the election, uh, the last election, mm -hmm. um, I can say that was something where it's like, we were all watching that live because we were all working at night and we were all seeing everything happen. And we were like, we're really going to have to talk about this next week. And then we're going to have to make a whole episode about this. We have the writers on it the tomorrow. And it's like, I think I wouldn't say it's pressure, but it's something that we expect to be like, okay, so this is going to be a big deal. How are we going to attack this? And how do we want to talk about it? So it's like, it's something that we always have to talk about uh, before anything really happens. Oh, well, I am super excited for both Blackish and your music career. You've got an album coming out. Do you have a date? 
Uh, it is out. It's out. We the future. Out. Yes, we the future. It's out. Okay. Uh, all platforms, obviously. So I mean, it was something that I really wanted to just get out for fun. I mean, I know ever since then, I will. I you know, I've taken it more seriously since then. But I think the music that's in there is really awesome, and it's it's just taken more seriously what I was just talking about earlier. So yeah. All right. Well, that's all my time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really excited to see anything you do. Thank you. <laughs>